harvest is in full swing across the state after more than a month of soggy fields. Most farmers are finally able to cut their crop. Cakes Ben Jordan finds out how the heat is helping farmers get into the fields. That's new tonight at 10. Gloria, last weekend's heavy rain came at a bad time for farmers. It was right before their harvest. But this string of hot days makes it just about perfect for cutting. It's windy, dry, and of course, hot. Drive out into the country in south central Kansas and look in just about any direction. You're bound to see beautiful Kansas wheat. This weekend, you'll find combines hitting the fields for harvest. It's a culmination of a year's work. Uh, it's kind of like my farmer high. Wheat farmer Mike Roush is helping a neighbor harvest because his fields are still too soggy. You're going along and all of a sudden you just drop. Uh, it's awful wet in spots. Roush isn't the only one dealing with the delay. Wet fields have caused problems for combines in several areas where farmers are already cutting. It's setting there waiting on me, but I just, just can't roll in spots. I mean, it's, and you hate to tear a field up too bad because it affects future yields because where you tear the ground up with the ruts, it just doesn't produce. A string of hot days full of sunshine should take care of that problem. One day makes a big difference. When you've got a 100 degree day like this, it, and with the wind like this, it really pulls the moisture out of the soil. Come Sunday, Roush hopes to be harvesting his 600 acres from sunup to sundown through the week. I'm figuring by Monday, there's not gonna be many mud holes left. It's still early, but Roush believes his harvest yield will likely put last year's to shame. The rain saved us. This year, the yields are surprising. I mean, it's going to be okay. And Roush isn't the only one with hopes of an impressive yield. Wheat production across the state is, ex is expected to hit around 314 million bushels, up from 246 million last year. Thank you, Ben. Now, a great way to get the latest on the weather. Download the Cake News app for your smartphone or tablet, and you can track the heat using our hourly forecast.